One of the greatest concentrations of megalithic tombs in Ireland can be found in Sligo in the northwest of the country. These were constructed during the period known as the Neolithic or New Stone Age, a time which heralded the introduction of farming to these shores. These early farmers transformed the Irish landscape in several ways. Firstly, with the creation of fields to cultivate their cereal crops and keep their livestock. Some 6,000 years later, the impact of this agricultural revolution can still be seen today as we look out at the modern farming landscape. The second way in which these Neolithic communities transformed the Irish landscape is through the construction of megalithic tombs, monuments that were intended to last long after they were originally constructed, so that subsequent generations would remember and celebrate their distant ancestors. Some of the earliest megalithic tombs built in Ireland can be found at Caramore, on the cool era peninsula that extends into Sligo Bay. These tombs were built between 5,700 and 5,200 years ago. During this period, about 50 tombs were built on the cool era peninsula, and the majority of these are found at Caramore, forming one of the largest megalithic cemeteries anywhere in Europe. The Caramore tombs typically comprise a ring of boulders forming a curb around a central burial chamber. When they have been excavated by archaeologists, the most common burial rite found has been human cremation, and the objects most frequently associated with these remains are bone and antler pins, which were probably worn by the deceased before they were cremated. The largest tomb at Caramore, which presumably formed the focal point of the overall cemetery, is a large cairn of stones known as Listaho. At the centre of this large cairn, which has now been reconstructed, is a megalithic chamber where the main burials took place. When this was excavated in the 1990s, it was found that the human burials here had not been cremated, and the dating evidence suggests that the tomb was built about five and a half thousand years ago. Visiting Caramore today, it is difficult not to be drawn to Knocknare at the western end of the Coolira Peninsula. The summit of Knocknare is not particularly high, yet its tabletop profile dominates the Atlantic coastline in this region. Despite this, our Neolithic ancestors were not content with the naturally dramatic shape of the mountain, so they transformed it by constructing one of the largest monuments ever built in prehistoric Ireland. This massive cairn of stones is nearly 60 metres across and 10 metres high. Today it is commonly called Maeve's Cairn, after the Queen of Connacht in the Ulster cycle of Irish mythology. This mythical association captured the imagination of William Butler Yeats, who mentions the cairn in several writings. This cairn has never been investigated, and it is not clear if it covers a tomb containing the burials of our ancestors, or if it was simply built as a memorial to honour the ruling family of the region. However, what is clear is that the cairn was intended to send a strong message to everyone who saw it, that the people who put it here were powerful enough to change the face of the Irish landscape forever. There are few prehistoric monuments anywhere in the world that have so dramatically altered the landscape in the same way that Maeve's Cairn has changed the shape of Knock Nuray. Today, over 5,000 years later, Maeve's Cairn still stands proud and continues to embody the ability and strength of our Neolithic ancestors who lived here. The internationally important tombs at Caramore and Maeve's Cairn and Knocknare are national monuments in state care and are managed by the Office of Public Works. We would ask visitors to Knocknare not to climb or interfere in any way with Maeve's Cairn. It has stood here for over 5,000 years 
and we would like to ensure that generations to come will still have the same opportunity to admire the achievements of our Neolithic ancestors.